forgot to mention you're gonna need a axle nut socket it is a four lug two and a half inner spindle nut uh, this one is a power built and this one is for uh, the number on it six four eight four seven seven and as you can see it fits perfectly in there and them posts is what tightens everything so you're definitely gonna need that right there this my truck's an 08 dodge so it'll definitely fit it now we're going to get this on there kind of gotta use both fingers use one to kind of hold it on or one to start spinning it it's usually not difficult can be though. Just depends. Well, there it is. Now remember, this first one we're putting on, the alignment pin points out this way. So we'll go ahead, get that right there as tight as we can with our finger. Just stick your uh, finger in them grooves that the post from the socket goes on. It spins easy. I'll show y'all this here in just a second. Once I get it screwed on as tight as I can this way. All right. You can see it's in there and the alignment pins down there. All right, let's get our torque wrench. Whatever you do, don't over tighten this. It's actually important that you don't, because basically what you're doing is you're setting them bearings up where they need to be. So we're gonna go to 50 foot pounds. I hate these sockets, by the way. I always have, cause they sometimes, now it's on there, but you gotta sit here and basically hold it because it'll slip right off. I mean, it's not grabbing hold of a whole lot. Now I'm at 50 foot pounds, but we're gonna spin it. Just spin it back and forth. This is the way you gotta do it. After I spin this a couple more times, we won't be at 50 foot pounds no more. It'll be closer to 45 probably. So. This takes a minute. I do this for quite a bit. Get on there. All right. See, it's tightening up more. We're at 50 again. I'm just gonna keep spinning. Just keep doing this until when you put your torque wrench back on there and go to 50 foot pounds, it almost just clicks. It may barely move and then click. If it does, you're fine there. Now I'm gonna stop recording right here because ain't no point y'all sitting here for a long time watching me do this because this can take up to five minutes or so. All right, now that we're up to 50 foot pounds on this, it is a little hard to turn. It's gonna be stiff, so don't panic. It's just the way it is. We're going to back this off a quarter of a turn. So, get. start with my ratchet at 12 o'clock. 
We're going to go exactly one quarter of a turn. We're right there. All right, next we're going to take our tab washer and put it on. And if you can see, well, you can't see it. I, don't, I bet you can't. But our uh, guide pin is actually about right there where that hole right there is. So we may get lucky. Now, these darn things get stuck on the threads. It's good to have these picks to help with that. The only sucky thing about this part is if your guide pin ain't right on, you gotta try and take this right back off again. I don't think my guide pin's on right. It is now. So I just took this pick and moved it. Alright. Next, we're going to take our last axle nut, put it on. At least the camera's in a better view. You can see how I've done this. And just spin that right on there. We're almost done, actually. I didn't think I'd get this far today before having a good work. All right, we're going to tighten this nut right here down to 135 foot pounds. See, it rotates much better now. I'll double check it. Make sure. If I get it on the stupid nut. All right. Now, after you do this, wiggle this back and forth. There should be no in play whatsoever at this point at all. No play. No wiggle room, no play in and out play, nothing. That's how you know this was a success. Uh, let's see what time is it. Heck, I'm gonna keep going for a minute. I think I got enough time to at least get the hub in. All right, when you get your hubs, it'll have two of your screws will be holding it together and then the rest will be in a pack, you know. So we get them screws out, take this apart. And also make sure this is in the free position. Don't have it in lock. Just have it in a free position. All right. Now, if you look here, there's a hole and a guide pin right there. That's where it's gonna go. So just keep that there in mind. Now I don't grease these because in the past, <laughs> when, well, when you grease, put too much grease on these, it can damage them. So you slide this in. Now you may have to give it a little persuasion, a little bit of finesse. can be a pain just kind of wiggle it and it'll get seat in just like that all right next we got our two rings got this ring right here it's got the sharp end on the end then here we got our spiral ring and you see why it's called a spiral ring we're going to put this one in first 
You just take it, get it started. Just work your way around like so. Next, take your spiral ring. Start one end of it. Make sure you go over top of that ring that you just put in. Just work your way around it. Make sure it seats in there, just like that. Yeah, take our snap ring. Let's go a different angle. There we are. Worked a little better that way. Make sure it's in there. Just kind of don't like pry or nothing, just barely do it. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, like I said, you may have to grab your uh, U joint, your actual shaft, and just barely pull it, take the play out of it to get that on there. Okay. Next, take a little bit of a grease and put around this O-ring here. That'll keep it from dry rotting. And also, it'll also help keep dirt out. Make sure that's in the free spin position on free. And sorry, I was looking for my tool, but it's actually in right here. And this uh, guide pin goes right here. So we'll line that up. set on and get two screws started all right the last day as far as the kit itself not counting putting rotor brake caliper and all that back on is torquing these to 25 inch pounds so we're going to torque them crisscross pattern got to tighten them up a little bit more before we actually start torquing them Go to 25, uh, I probably said foot pounds, 25 inch pounds. There's 25, go to the opposite side. 25, then we're gonna go up here. 20. Okay, we're in the free spin. Axle shaft is not turning. All right, let's go to lock position. And now the axle shaft is turning. All right, after you get uh, done, you know, you get your uh, locking cap on, put your uh, 
rotor on and you can use a lug nut to hold it on so it'll hold it up uh, against your uh, hub so you can put your brake caliper bracket and brake caliper bag on and then torque your brake caliper bracket now i didn't take the uh, brake caliper off i just pulled the two bolts out of the bracket and pulled it off as one unit uh i don't know i'd have to get through my stuff my books to see what the brake caliper bracket torque i mean brake caliper torque is but the brake caliper bracket not the brake caliper not these small ones but these bigger ones right here for your brake caliper which is this piece right here torque at the 250 foot pounds using an 18 millimeter socket all right put your wheel on torque your lug nuts down to 135 foot pounds for single rear wheels and for dual rear wheels torque them to 145. they don't look too bad it's got a little bit of a gap but it's not really that noticeable and it don't look much different from the back Here. this hub sticks out maybe maybe that much further than the back one something like, about something about like it it looks a lot better than what i thought it was going to not too bad well i'm happy with it all right guys uh, thanks for watching uh hope you enjoy this video if you're planning on doing this this is one of the best things you can ever do